Hello and welcome back to The Horse's Eye. Well this week I found some pretty interesting stuff in my barn and I wanted to share it with you. We have some aged horses, so they're in the 29, 30 year old range and uh, I was looking in their stalls and I noticed that they're not eating all their hay. But in their hay and on the floor I find this and I'll just hold that up for you. So it's kind of like a little tube or a cigar of hay and uh, it's all wet and everything like that. So um, I talked to uh, a veterinarian and asked them what this was. Basically, the horse's teeth are not erupting anymore. So when they get to this advanced age, their teeth stop coming up. So now they're not engaged anymore, so they're not able to chew the food. So what they do is they take all the hay in. They still want to try and get some moisture or some goodness out of this hay. So they put it up in the side of their mouth and they just keep sucking on it to get some nutrients out of the hay. So you'll find a lot of hay in the bottom of the stall. Uh, it's going to be left over in the morning, but you're going to find these. This is your indicator. So when you find these guys, now you know you've got to do something extra for these senior horses. So we have to put some extra nutrition in. So I got a hold of the guys over at Brooks Feeds and they invited me over and I talked to Dan Irwin and he's a great guy. They really know their stuff and how to feed senior horses. So let's take a trip. We're going to go over to Brooks and talk with Dan. I'm with Dan Irwin and we're at Brooks Feeds. Um, we wanted to come over and get the words from the experts. So we're trying to get some information on how to feed these senior horses. Thanks for spending the time with us, Dan. Oh, you're welcome, Larry. Welcome to Brooks Feeds. Thank you. What I'd like to know is, um, I have one horse that has uh, what I call quids or these silver yeah. cigars. Yeah. Uh, she's got a little bit of an issue with, you know, no teeth, like they're not growing anymore. Right. So my question is, like, how do I feed her? And how do I feed senior horses that do have good teeth? Okay. You know, we want to get these horses that are retired and make it so they're comfortable and they've got well, good Exactly, on. yeah. Well, you've raised two issues separately there. Let's talk about the horse that's got the problem with the teeth. Okay. But in both cases, the most important thing is to get as much fiber into them as possible. The horse that's uh, got the poor dental problems is a real challenge because they can't typically eat as much hay as they should. Right. So we would uh, look to something like hay cues and we could soak those. The other thing we can do, uh, most uh, manufacturers have something uh, either called a hay replacer or a forage replacer or a chunk of some kind that's got built-in fiber, usually from soy hulls, uh, beet pulp, uh, and really good quality fiber that makes up for what they can't get out of the hay. So you can use a combination of the two. I always suggest that you should give the horse some hay anyway, even if it doesn't seem to be able to eat very much of it, because it keeps it busy. It's a natural instinct for them to try and graze and, and eat. But it's important, the first thing always is to get as much uh, fiber into them as possible. Okay. So um, does that mean like a, it would be a pelleted uh, food or something like that? It's a pelleted food, but uh, there's very little grain product in it. It's made up of fibers, what we call super fibers, things like soy hulls and beet pulp that are good quality fiber, but they also have a fairly high digestible uh, calorie content. Okay. So the horse can get its fiber, but it can get the calories that it needs at the same time. Right. So if, I'm, if I've got my old horse, should I have somebody from Brooks come over and take a look at her? Or do I need to do that? Yeah. Uh, it's always a good idea to have somebody come over and have a good look at it and give you some suggestions. But there are a couple of uh, general guidelines I can give you for a senior horse. First of all, most senior horses, providing that they don't have any issues such as the poor teeth you're talking about or um, Cushing's or metabolic syndrome or any of those things, most senior horses get along quite fine on uh, feeds quite similar to what a regular horse would eat. If they've got good quality fiber in the feed, if they've got uh, some added fat and they've got a balance of minerals and vitamins, usually they do pretty well. Some uh, easy keepers, 
don't really need any grain, but they do need a balance of minerals and vitamins, so we have what's called a balancer pellet, which is something you would just give the horse maybe a pound a day, and that gives it the minerals and vitamins it needs without any extra calories that it doesn't need. So those are a couple of strategies for different types of horses. And as I said, one, one horse doesn't fit, or one feed doesn't fit every horse. It depends on the type of horse. But one thing is to make sure that uh, your feed comes from a drug-free mill. Good, okay. That's very important. Uh, as you know, we've had some issues with that problem come up in the States. And uh, I think most of our manufacturers in Canada are very meticulous when it comes to drugs, but you should ask whether your feed comes from a drug-free mill. Okay. Now all the product that you use is all grown here in Canada? Yes, absolutely. We uh, get most of our product locally. Uh, we get flax from out west, we get local uh, corn and oats, and um, soy meal is all grown in Canada. It's pretty well all Canadian product, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so there you have it. So get a hold of Brooks Feeds, and you guys uh, you supply all the feed mills around, right? We have dealers throughout most of Ontario. Yeah. Uh, over 50 dealers across Ontario, and so there's uh, probably a dealer somewhere near you in Ontario. There you go. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. All right, well, we're back at the farm after a really great trip over to Brooks Feeds at Port Perry. Everybody in their organization really knows what they're talking about. It was a great visit with Dan, and uh, they can help you too. So if you go to this address right here, go to Brooks Feeds, they have a section on their website that you can ask questions. Tell them what age your horse is, what kind of horse it is, and they'll try and give you some information on how you should best feed that horse, get some really good nutrition in, and uh, get some good weight on those older horses. You know, these older horses, they've really worked hard through their life for us, and hopefully they've pleased us, so when we put them to retirement, let's make sure they get all the nutrition that they need. We want them looking nice and healthy and fat and sassy, and uh, that's what they deserve. They took care of us. That's all I have for this week. I'm Larry Bonehill. This is The Horse's Eye. Ride hard and ride safe.